Hi guys, it's Carrie. Today I'm here with Ryan DePercio from Fashiono in Montclair, New Jersey. And we're gonna be making today Gently braised short ribs with wilted Swiss chard and creamy polenta. Oh, sounds delicious. What do we need? Very simple. You're gonna to go to your local butcher, you're gonna ask for some bone in uh, two and a half inch by two and a half inch short ribs. You have some mirepoix, which is carrots, onions, and celery. Okay. You have some rosemary. Uh, tomato paste, red wine, uh, some garlic, some bay leaf, and some chicken stock. And then I have some pork glaze, which will go in at the end. That'll help kind of okay. thicken up the sauce. So you're going to season the short ribs with salt and pepper. Short ribs is like a muscle meat, so it has to be braised for a few hours. Okay. And once you braise it, it's fork tender. It's a signature dish at Fashino. Fashino. Perfect. <laughs> put your olive oil in. You're going to put these in. Just be nice and gentle so you don't spe splash yourself. Don't play with your food. Oh. You know your mom said, don't play with your food? Yeah. Don't play with your food. Okay. Let it sear. Uh, what if I played with it? What would happen? Biggest misconception is of home cooks is that they always want to like play with it, move yeah. it around, blah, blah. The only way you're going to get a really good sear is if you just let it sit there and let it cook. You're really good looking. Oh, thank you. So are you. No, I think it's, I can't focus sometimes. <laughs> you're the boy band chef. So, um, Like Joey Fatone. Are your eyes honey brown? Actually, uh, they have a little hazel to them. I saw the in hazel! The, in the right sunlight. They're nice. All right, do your kids eat this? Yes. They do. I think my kids would love Which this. Which one? The older one. Uh, He's Nick, picky, right? So Nicholas is getting better. He eats, uh, he loves steak. Luca, my one-year-old, yeah. will eat anything. When I tell you anything, he will be angry if there's not enough food on his plate. Nicholas is, you know, he's getting him to try things is like somewhat difficult. Um, Does he know dad's a big time chef? He thinks I'm famous. He has no idea. Okay, so now that you got them all seared on all sides, yeah. you wanna place them on the plate, okay? Okay. And then we're gonna add the mirepoix. Here we're gonna roast the vegetables and we're roasting them in the same pan so that anything that is on the bottom of the pan, which is called the fond, will yeah. come up into the vegetables and that'll really flavor the vegetables. So just a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, right. I want to stir this so bad I can't stand it. I'm like, I want to just stir it. You want to hold me? <laughs> I do. I, I have to okay. hold on to you. Thank you. All let's, right. let's, so, let's have a snuggle minute. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you. It's so nice. What we're going to do is we're going to add tomato paste, about a teaspoon of garlic, stir. All right, and then we're going to deglaze. All right. Oh, my. We're going to add bay leaf, rosemary. Oh, my God. And we're gonna put the chicken stock. Didn't you want to put the meat in before you the chicken? You can put it in. Oh, okay. Put it in. We're and gonna we're put gonna put them in the oven okay. for about three and a half hours. Oh, okay. At about 400 degrees. Now we're gonna make a polenta. Mm -hmm. What's this milk Okay, so for? this is uh, half and half and heavy cream. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna pour that right into the pot. Yeah. Basically, what you want to do is you don't want to leave this. I, Sorry. I didn't say whisk. Sorry. I just want a whisk. I see milk and I want a whisk. This is it. polenta, which is cornmeal. Yeah. All right, and we're going to add that in and we're going to whisk it for about 10 minutes. It's pretty much instant. And after that 10 minutes, it's going to get nice and creamy. Okay. And that's it. You set that aside. So oh, whisk it. Whisk it. Okay. All right. You don't have to go so fast. What if I don't stir? What happens to it? It'll start clumping up in the corners and that's stuff. That's what happened to me when I made it last time. There it was a, like a hockey puck. Yeah. It was a clumpy mess. Your polenta was a hot mess? My polenta was a hot mess. <laughs> could you come to my kitchen every day and do this with me? For, the, for the right price, cheese. I could do anything. Price? Come on. Ma I don't get paid to be a mom. I got, edu I got college educations to pay for. So do I. I'm getting paid nothing to clean up kids' rooms and <laughs> underwear and do the laundry. Oh, my God. This is exhausting, right? Okay, so now we're gonna make Swiss chard. Uh, so we have green Swiss chard. Okay. Chopped garlic in oil. Ooh, yes. Uh, salt and pepper and white wine and a little olive oil. Did you bring a whole bottle of wine? I didn't. Next we're, time, bring a bottle of wine. I'm gonna keep you sober while we're cooking. All right. So you're gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan. Okay. Of garlic. Yep, we're gonna add our Swiss chard and then you're gonna add your white wine. Ooh. We gotta sit here again. Yeah. I can't stir it. No. Move it. We're gonna get our short ribs. Okay, let's go to short ribs. Careful, nice and hot. Okay. All right, take that top off. Just take out, uh, you know, this guy right here. All right. And uh, with the
the tongue. Okay. Grab the bone. Don't cut into the meat. Just go straight down. We have the short ribs in the pot. Okay. They're boneless now. They have their jus. And then this is a pork glaze. Basically, Ooh. you don't have to make this, but this just makes them extra special and gives them a lot of love. It's reduced pork, brown sugar, star anise, and black peppercorns. Oh, that's not bad. It's, it's not hard, right? Let me smell it. Smell it. Oh. It smells like Christmas, right? It does smell like Christmas. It's go. good. All right. And then that'll go in the oven. All right, so uh, short ribs we're going to take out of the oven. Okay. And we're going to stick them right on your burner. Oh, bo oh boy. Oh there boy. you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Put it right on. Oh my God, this Let's smells good. Let's turn the burner on. So we have our creamy polenta right in the center of the plate. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Nice little circle. Okay, I'm going to do the next one. You yep. teach me the first one. Okay, oh, do it. okay. Right in the center. There you go. Then we're going to take our Swiss chard. All right. Uh -huh. And put that in the center as well. Oh, beautiful. And we're going to take our short rib. Place it right on top. Just like that. Delicious. Oh my gosh. All right, and then. Oh yeah, you take a little bit of that. Yep. Right on the plate. Ooh. Ta -da! Now, this is a signature dish at Fashion Okay. And I taught you how to make it. It's my signature dish. Now, now it is Carrie's signature dish. Thank you. So we have braised short ribs, wilted Swiss chard, creamy okay. polenta, pork glaze. So, a little short rib. Okay. Little polenta. When you come to my restaurant, you have to put all the ingredients on the fork together. Mm, I just love that wine flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef Ryan. This is unbelievably delicious. So I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Good. Um, so tell us where we can follow you on Twitter while oh, I eat the polenta. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Fashino Chef, F A S C I N O C H E F. And you can get the recipe at notsoskinnymom.com. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm. Have some more of the plant.